let's learn C K C K K E spelling. There are two ways to write the k sound at the beginning of words. You can use a C like in cat, and you can use a K like in kite. Now, there are a lot more words in the English language that start with C than K. So when you're spelling a word, you may want to lean towards C unless you really think it's a K. But there are some tools to help you know for sure. C often comes in front of vowels A, O, and U. To help you remember that, do you notice how this image resembles a cat? That is why the words cat, cop, and cut all start with C. They have an A, O, or a U after them. Now, as you might guess, the other two vowels often come after a K. Those vowels are I and E. Do you see how this image resembles a kite? Words like kid, and kept start with the letter K because they are followed by I or E. Remember, this is most of the time, but there are always exceptions. Let's practice and see if you can name whether these words start with a C or a K. As you read and write more, you will remember because you've seen the words so many times. But keep the cat with the A, O, and U and the kite with the I and E in your mind when you're unsure. Cup, hmm, does that start with a C or a K? C, because it is followed by a U. Key, is that a C or a K? K, because it's followed by an E. King, is that a C or a K? K, because it's followed by that I. Coin, is that a C or a K? C, because of that O. Cast, is that a C or a K? C, because of that A. Hopefully, that didn't feel too tricky. Let's get a little trickier. There are three ways to write the K sound at the end of words. One of them is CK, like in sock. CK comes at the end of a word after one short vowel. So in sock, do you see how that O is short? And it says aw. Track also ends in CK because the A is before the K sound and it says ah. Also, deck ends in CK because the E is short, eh. Another way words end with a k sound is with ke. K and e come after a long vowel at the end of a word that has a magic e. Look at cake. Do you see how the a is saying its long sound a? And then it has a silent or magic e at the end. That's why it ends with ke. If it had ck, it would say cack. I want to eat cake, not cack. Some other K-E words are woke, where the O says O, and also bike, where the vowel says I. A third way words can end is with just a K. K comes after a consonant. Remember, consonants are all the other letters besides the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. Words like shark end in a K because there is an R right before the K sound. Wink has an N before the K sound. And desk has the consonant S right before the K sound. Now, there is another time you use K at the end of a word. K also comes after a long vowel. These are long vowels without the magic E, often vowel teams like peak. Do you see the ee -E there saying e? Also, leak. The ea say e. So we end with just a k. And oak ends with a k because of the long o sound. Okay, 
Let's check to see if you can remember which k spelling we use at the end of some words. Bark. Hmm. Do we use CK, KE, or K? We use K because there is an R before the k sound, and K comes after a consonant. Clock. Do we use CK, KE, or K? We use CK because that O is saying the short sound, ah, and CK comes at the end of a word after one short vowel. Stick. Which K spelling do we use? CK. Stink. Hmm. What should be there? K. Poke. Which K spelling do we use? K-E. It has a long O with a magic E. Snack. C-K. Spike. K-E. Now, I do have to tell you, once in a while, words can end with just a C also. C can be alone at the end of a word, but it's usually at the end of a multisyllabic word. Words like Arctic, classic, plastic, traffic, music, and terrific all have more than one syllable. And do you notice that the C is coming after an I in these words? I know it's a lot to remember when you're writing or spelling words with k. Whether you use a C or a K at the beginning of a word, and whether we use a CK, KE, K, or even a C at the end of a word. But the good news is, is that when you are reading and you say any of these sounds, they all say the same sound. <laughs>